Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and this video is going to be a second part in which I teach how to calculate number of hydrogen bonds in alpha helix which you see here. And here is a problem how many hydrogen bonds alpha helix with 11, 15, 17 and 20 amino acids will have solve under one second. Yes, I'm going to show you how to solve this type of problems under one second. But because not everyone saw my previous video, I highly recommend to watch it at about 5-7 minutes before you will continue to watch this video. But in this video, I'm just going to briefly remind you the theory. So here's uh, 11 residue alpha helix, which we stretch and here's uh, 11 amino acids. And basically per one amino acid, so here's the uh, alpha carbon R group here amino group here, which is slightly positively charged and carboxylic group here, which is slightly negatively charged. So per each amino acid, we have two potential uh, groups, which will form hydrogen bonds, like you see, for example, here. And this amino acid also has amino group and carboxylic group, which also can form two hydrogen bonds. So mathematical description would be, we just have to count number of amino acids. In our example, it is 11. So let's put 11 here and multiply by two. Two potential hydrogen bonds that we can get. But do not forget that per each peptide bond, each amino acid is going to be first four, is going to have only one hydrogen bond and another group is not going to react with any other group. So our formula would look like minus four amino acids for N terminus and four amino acids, which also are going to make only one hydrogen bond for C terminus. So plus four, four plus four. And what we are going to get 11 residues times two is going to be 22, minus eight is going to be 14. But as you see, we already calculated that we are going to have only seven hydrogen bonds. How come? Because, for example, we already counted this hydrogen bond here for amino acid number one and number five. And when we come to number five, we shouldn't count it again. And number five also makes hydrogen bond with number nine. So five plus four residues would give us nine. And uh, amino acid number nine, we shouldn't count this hydrogen bond already because we already counted for uh, amino acid number five. So that means that we have to divide our number by two. And the answer is going to be, take a look, 22 minus eight is going to be 14 divided by two is going to be seven. And seven exactly is the number which we got here in our calculations. Let's now do the same for 15 amino acids. So we are going to have 15 amino acids times two minus four for C terminus plus four for N terminus and divided by two. So 30 minus eight is going to be 22 and 22 divided by two is going to be 11 hydrogen bonds. But it still takes more than one second, right? And now I want you to see the pattern. When our polypeptide chain was 11 amino acids, we got seven hydrogen bonds. When our polypeptide chain consists of 15 amino acids, we got 11 hydrogen bonds. So basically 11 minus four is going to be seven. 15 minus four is going to be 11. 17 minus four is going to be 13 hydrogen bonds. And if we have 20 amino acids minus four, we are going to get 16 hydrogen bonds. So as you see, this is going to take you less than one second 
to solve this type of problems. And this is all for today, subscribe and see you in the next video, goodbye.